All right, we're in the greenhouse again today, and we're preparing for some cold weather uh, coming in. We've moved all of the transplants that we've had inside to the greenhouse, and you can see that uh, the things that we've planted here with uh, cabbages and kale, dragon kale, uh, red Russian or red uh, Russian kale, also. Um, uh, purple cabbage. At any rate, that's not what I wanted to focus on. What I wanted to focus on was when I initially built the raised beds inside the greenhouse, I put these pipes in the corners so that I could put a hoop from one to the other to put a um, covering over the top of them to preserve uh, a second layer of heat and possibly put some type of heat tape or something inside there to um, maintain some type of heat with the double wall with with having the outside walls of the greenhouse closed up and a row cover or something else in here to maintain more heat um, I I was thinking that it would be possible to grow things all year round. Well, I've kind of expanded the thought process here, and you can see these tubes that I've put in the in the corner. It comes all the way up, goes over in a big arch, and comes down on the other side. And so basically, what I've got here now is a hoop house inside the hoop house. And so anything that's inside this horseshoe shape of raised bed is basically going to be inside a, a more or less a hoop house, inside the hoop house. So we're kind of double insulated. And I've got a small heater that has thermostatic control on it. And I'm going to put that inside because tonight it's supposed to get down to 32 degrees. Now... You, you might think that if you have a hoop house, the um, uh, you're going to be uh, warmer than the outside. Basically, what the hoop house does is it keeps the wind off of everything. But if it gets down to 30 degrees outside, and there's a good chance it's going to be 30 degrees or a couple degrees above it on the inside. So that's why I'm going with this uh, double layer of uh, plastic and we're going to see how that works uh, you can see that this is just a real simple these are half inch pvc stuck down inside three quarter inch thin wall that's um schedule 20 i think it's not schedule 40 it's schedule 20 i think and it fits right down inside there there's three ribs that go up and over I put a T here at, that's at the end of each one of a 10 foot section so I put two uh, put a 10 foot section on each side and came up to the top put a T up there then for the center rib I bought a half inch cross fitting you can see that um, half inch cross fitting and then cut these other pieces of pipe so that I could have some purlins or something to support the plastic that I'm going to be pulling in here in just a little bit. So the idea is uh, I got some cheap four mil plastic. It doesn't have to hold up much. All it's got to do is retain some heat and I've got the uh, I've got the plastic and now I'm going to start cutting it and draping it up and over the inside hoop house. So I'll be back to you in a couple minutes. The plastic I picked up for this project is just some 4 mil plastic that I got from Home Depot. I picked up uh, 10 by 100 feet and that should be um, sufficient for what I'm going to be doing for this project. It's not uh, UV... Uh, protected it is clear but uh, since I'm only going to be using this temporary this thing should work out just fine it's not greenhouse plastic but it should be fine
started putting the plastic on the inside hoop house and I thought it would be a good idea to drape it over the start at the back and work towards the front thought it would be easier but actually what needs to happen is the front the the center piece that goes up and over um, all the, the uh, hoops needs to go on first so that it overlaps and then the outside ones can come up and overlap it and uh, so you don't have plastic sagging and issues with heat escaping so let me uh, change that around and get right back all right we got uh, back inside the hoop house inside a hoop house as you can see it's uh, taking shape man what a pain in the neck to try to seal the back seam at the top and overlap those because you can't you can't reach around over the top of it when you've got a piece of plastic coming into it so I had to stick my arm outside and work it uh, it takes some some uh, trial and error a lot of trial and error but uh, finally got it and I'll be cutting one more piece of plastic here for the front I'm not gonna put it on because man it's hot in here I've even got the sides rolled up on uh, a couple of the sides and I'm sweating like no tomorrow so um, I'll get the plastic cut I'll get it uh, uh, clipped onto one side so it'll be easy just to hang it up and then uh, I'll come in here and do it later when the Sun starts to go down all right here we are a hoop house inside a hoop house I've got it up I've got enough headroom in there that we can walk in and uh, do things I'll probably leave this up all winter but uh, somehow configure it so that the front side of it is down so basically it'll just be inside the original high tunnel plastic goes all the way to the floor and pretty much sealed all the way around to help to uh, hold the heat in I've got a small portable heater with a uh, fan in it that I'm going to put inside it's got a thermostat in it and um, I'll put that inside later on when we close it up for the night and we should be good to go we should have no issues whatsoever with any kind of frostbite and uh, wow what an effort but now that it's up, I'm loving it. 